Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how you can add yourself to a wanted poster using a digital photograph of yourself or maybe a friend. I want to make one thing clear before I get started. This video won't be about making the posters. I have two of them here, info about them you can find in the description. Both of them are really nice artwork, you can find out who created them. I kind of like this one better because of the uh, bullet holes here and the other tearings in the paper and this kind of worn out effect. Making a tutorial about this is not very easy. It's one thing to create it, it's another thing to make a tutorial about it. For example, I can give you a tip of how you can create these uh, spots here that give it this uh, dirty look, this worn out effect. You can select the brush tool, choose one of the brushes, for example this one, go to the modes and select burn, then reduce the opacity to 20, adjust the size of the brush and also change the color to for example this brown color and then you can paint and you see how this affects the poster you can experiment with colors with opacity brushes stuff like that so in the future I'll try to make a tutorial about how to create a poster like this from scratch but for now I'm going to use these two and also a digital photograph of this man info about it you can find again in the description and I chose this photograph because the guy is wearing a cowboy hat which is a nice fit to this posters real quick for those of you who are complete beginners first open the image of the poster you can do that by using the file open option or you can drag and drop an image in GIMP and then open the image with a digital photograph you can do that by going to the file menu open as layers or you can again drag and drop the image in GIMP next if the image is too big Make sure you select the layer to make it active, then grab the scale tool, click on it, then click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio, then you can click and drag like this to scale the image, and after you like the size, you can click scale. Now if the image is too small, I normally don't recommend scaling up images, but in this case, because of the effect that we are going to add to the image, you can afford a little scaling up but if the image is very small compared to the poster you might want to scale down the poster instead so once you've done that make sure this layer with the cowboy is active then go to filters artistic and select photocopy then i'm going to turn this mask radius all the way up and also the sharpness all the way up also with this option here you can find out how the effect looks you can select to see for example this area and then here I'm going to type 0.6 and I'm going to do the same with the percent white you don't have to type in exactly these numbers you can do some experimenting after you type in the numbers just click OK and when this is done you can see the effect it's a pretty cool effect but it's not fitting very well with our poster so we'll go to the layer mode and select instead of normal burn and now you see it's starting to look better next we'll need to do some manual brush work but before that I want to get rid of this layer boundary and go to layer layer to image size next select the eraser tool and I'm going to select this brush also I'll right click on the layer to make sure that it's got alpha channel if it doesn't click on this add alpha channel option then adjust the size a little bit and start erasing don't go too far something like this next I'll change the brush to this one and also select the hard edge option and I'm just going to click like this and if you make a mistake and go too far let's say erase here you can hold down the alt key to anti-erase or you can choose it from here and paint back the image
and when you are done let's see how this looks on this poster looks pretty good and this one we may want to increase the effect a little bit we can do that by just duplicating the layer using this option and you see how it looks here if you want to have a finer adjustment you can use the opacity slider on this poster I think without the duplicated layer it looks better in some cases you may actually want to do the opposite you may not want to increase the effect but decrease it and even if you have just one layer with the image on burn mode if you want to make it fade a little bit you can reduce the opacity using the slider like this and so that's pretty much all for this tutorial I hope that it was useful if you're new to my videos I hope you subscribe and that's it for now bye